everyone, it's me, Armand, and this is the fifth episode to my channel. Uh, and before we get to the animals, have you watched the movie Alien? Well, if you haven't, neither have I. We're in the same boat here. And speaking of boats, we're talking about an undersea animal. Sorry, two undersea animals. Both sharks. No, it's not the great white shark and the mako shark. And f we're gonna get to that later. In fact, it's two really creepy, really wacky, and really awesome sharks. For our first up is Mitsurkina Austone. A, a Japanese scientific name given to the goblin shark. A shark found in the abyss who does not look good. He's just ugly, okay? So, before it gets its food, it, it hooks its teeth up in its gigantic nose. Then, when it's ready, it takes them out. The goblin shark will slowly maneuver its way towards its prey, and then literally rocket out its jaws. And I mean rocket. It can actually extend its mouth, which is pretty creepy. This animal is found, as I said, deep in the abyss, and is smaller than you, so you don't have a risk of getting attacked by it. Our next shark, though, is Carhinus taurus, the sand tiger shark. It was given this name because it can digest a lot of stuff. It looks like a monster from an alien movie, and they will actually cannibalize their brothers and sisters, so only one or two will survive. And they do this before they're even born. Sand tiger sharks will actually gulp air to maintain buoyancy. Pretty cool. The largest will eventually take down the prey, which it happens to be their siblings, and go out, born full-blown killers. Sand tiger sharks are a member of the ground shark family, just like tiger sharks as well. Tiger, sand tiger sharks are actually more closely related to a mackerel shark, known as, wait for it, the Great White. Yes, this is its close cousin, but did you know that these animals are much smaller, but like by 10 feet, from the maximum size of the great white because they can get up to 10.2 feet. That is up to three meters. And guess what else? They can weigh up to 290.3 kilograms. That's 640 pounds. That's really big. Santagra sharks are actually in danger. And a hundred thousand sharks die every year. A majority of them are the feared but fascinating sand tiger sharks. Goblin sharks, on the other hand, there are still a lot of them left and they're least concerned. But sand tiger sharks we need to protect. They're wonderful animals. Goblin sharks are too. And if you like this video, please, pretty please subscribe to my channel. And why am I saying pretty please? Anyways, thank you. Bye. Later.